Welcome to the Journey Church. We're observing one of the ordinances of our church, which is believer's baptism. Not just water baptism. You must be a believer before you enter into the waters of baptism. And this is the Gage family. This is the father, Chris Gage, and then Nathan Gage, and then Joshua Gage. The story behind Chris is that he came to faith in Jesus Christ in a Lutheran church. But their mode and method of baptism was sprinkling. He knows very well years ago that he came to faith in Jesus, but he wants to follow the Lord as the Bible teaches in full immersion believers' baptism, baptizo, to immerse under a liquid, to immerse under water. And he wants to do this, and he's setting a fine example for his two boys, is that his dad is not ashamed of Jesus. He will get in the baptistry and say, I love the Lord Jesus, and they're going to follow the example of their dad. Amen? Amen. I'm going to ask them all three the same questions, okay? You guys back over a little bit so I can baptize your dad, or you're going to get baptized twice. <laughs> Okay, Chris, say your answers loudly for the world to hear. It'll be on video. Chris, is it true that you have placed your personal faith, trust, and belief in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Is it true that you are following your Lord Jesus today in full immersion believer's baptism? Yes. Based on that public profession of faith, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. walk and do life and all of God's people said? Amen. All right. Now, when we do it the next time, let me finish. Because <laughs> we want everybody to hear that on the video. All right. I've had a wonderful conversation with you a few weeks ago in your home. And I'm going to ask you two questions and say it to where everyone can hear it. Is it true, Nathan, that you have placed your personal faith and trust in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Is it true that you're coming today in obedience to your Savior to follow Him in believer's baptism? Yes, sir. Based on that public profession of faith, my brothers and sisters, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in death, raised to walk in new life, and all of God's people said, Amen! Little Joshua. Little Joshua, you're almost baptized already, brother. You know? But Joshua, I've had the same conversation I've had with your dad and also with your older brother. Look at me, and I want you to say your answer loudly if you mean it. Joshua, is it true that you have placed your faith and trust and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Is it true that you're coming today to be obedient to Jesus, your Savior, to follow Him in believer's baptism? Based on that public profession of faith, my brothers and sisters, I baptize you, my little brother, <laughs> buried with Christ in His death, raised to walk in new life, and all of God's people said, yeah. The reason I stayed so long in the sanctuary is a person that's never been to our church before, but a friend that invited him came today and he placed his faith and trust and belief in Jesus Christ. Amen. Jonathan Fitch was saved on July the 24th. He bought his best friend today and within three months his best friend was saved. Do you see how it works? You go out and you share your before and after story of people come to Christ. Thank you and God bless.